Uh, I'm going to go over a little bit of a tech demo and hopefully uh, show you guys why you should care about your privacy um, and get people that might be new to the decentralized web a little bit excited about it, um, excited about IPFS, um, and hopefully excited about what we're working on. Um, so Vault 74 is a decentralized chat built on top of IPFS. Um, it uses textile um, as a middle layer to interface with IPFS. Um, and the goal of Vault 74 is to build a application where you can screen share, um, you can video chat, uh, file share, and you know host meetings, do everything you want to do with a normal um, application, and hopefully abstract all the crypto stuff behind the scenes. So you know people who aren't enthusiasts um, can jump in and use it, and you know learn about why uh, blockchain's awesome afterwards. Um, so we've got uh, servers to communicate with large groups. Um, you can send firm requests, which right now are smart contract uh, powered. Um, Everything in the application is built to be configurable. So you can swap out classes as long as you use the same interface. Um, you can, uh, we have here right now for textile or database um, protocol, you can switch that out with whatever you want. Um, the idea is to build the app as a springboard and then hopefully um, have the community drive what the best solutions are for the application. Um, we have built in here, um, let's see, um, embeds, um, so you could send links. Um, you can send, you know, your favorite music playlists um, or your addresses to get paid, um, whatever you want to do. Um, you, you, you know, it, it, it supports all the stuff you'd expect in an application. Again, that's the goal is to have everything um, kind of like you would see in Slack, Discord or anything else and just kind of, um, you know, take away the tech side of things. And, you know, as exciting as the decentralized web is, um, it needs to not be a pain point for people to adopt it. Um, so that's kind of our, our methodology up front. Um, we also support payments. Um, again, this is a, um, I hope that might mess up my screen share a little bit, but um, again, this is something that can be swapped out um, for different uh, crypto payments and hopefully fiat in the future, but that's not our focus right now. Um, again, the use of IPFS um, is implemented for file sharing. Um, so you can upload files, um, you know, uh, let's see, straight through the, the inline um, uploader. Um, and then, you know, you get the links to the files and everything like that. Um, you can also send them straight to um, your friends. Oh, sorry, having issues with the, the lovely M1 Mac. Um, let me get this a uh, refresh real quick. Um, you can share files in line with your friends and stuff like that as well. Um, so if I go through and let's see, um, I can either copy paste the files um, or I can upload them directly through the um, the upload tool. Um, right now, we're just uploading them straight through the IPFS um, library. Uh, we plan to also use textile buckets in the future. That way, they're automatically pinned, um, and we have better management of those files um, per user. Um, and yeah, uh, I won't demo calling and stuff like that. I mean, it, it works, um, but it's kind of awkward to demo on a call. Um, you can configure everything. Um, shield your eyes you know business people they like light themes so we have light themes we have um, a bunch of different themes based um, uh, largely around the different uh, uh, themes in my editor that I just kind of took the colors from but um, you know you can make it look like whatever you want it uh, to look like um, we're actually um, you know if you are excited about it um, you can earn some badges um, kind of superficial but uh, cool for the future um, to show how you contribute to the project um, Again, everything's configurable. You can choose your own bit rate. Um, everything's going through a peer-to-peer -peer network, um, which uh, you have signatures before the peer connection is established to ensure you're talking to who you think you're talking to. Um, and then you can stream at as high uh, a bit rate as WebRTC allows, um, provided your connection can handle it. Um, the application is 100%, 99% serverless. We have a peer-to-peer um, -peer signaling server right now, but um, I have ideas to uh, put that on IPFS as well. So. Uh, the end goal is to have the, the application be completely serverless. You can load it on a USB drive. You can throw it wherever you want, um, and you don't have to worry about anyone in the middle uh, snooping on your data or your privacy. Um, it's got a bunch of other stuff um, like key binds. Um, we plan to support um, authentication via hardware wallets. Um, right now, it's going through MetaMask. That's soon to be um, abstracted as a secondary option and use local accounts um, as a default option. Um, they're, all our contracts are public. Um, the entire code base is public. So if you guys uh, do want to look at what we got going on, 
um, you can uh, go on the GitHub and you know check out all the code. You really shouldn't trust anything. You can't see the code. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's the bulk of it. Um, we are looking at uh, some more solutions. Um, everything is um, right now mostly going through textile. Um, we are looking at uh, different chains like Matic and stuff like that as options for different protocols in the settings. Um, but uh, let's see, what else could I demo? Yeah, I think that's that's um, that's pretty much the bulk of uh, of what we have going on with the application. Um, there's a lot of planning ahead um, for content creators. Um, I come from a uh, background in content creation, so um, we're sort of targeting that space first, um, as well as the uh, the gaming space. Um, this is a community I know well. Um, so uh, a lot of the streamers, content creators are facing DCMA issues, um, issues with uh, copyright holders flagging their content, whether for justified or unjustified reasons. So um, servers will also have integrations to a lot of social platforms. So um, let's say this event went live uh, on IPFS's uh, server, um, it would automatically have a now live channel pop up where people can chat and, um, and interface with the um, presentation um, show your support with uh, crypto donations or um, whatever you might want to do with that. Um, in addition, with our Spotify integrations, you know, if you do want to host music that maybe you don't own the copyright to, um, Spotify is a great listen along feature, so we can sync that up with the videos. Um, as far as the files, we're also looking into um, redoing this editor to have um, folders and more of a uh, Dropbox-like solution. Um, we also are looking into having desktop sync, so uh, any files you upload to folders on Vault, you can um, add that as a synced folder um, and then share that folder with your friends to also have them sync files. So uh, good for business and, um, you know, even just friends sharing, um, you know, maybe Thanksgiving videos where the aunt did something crazy or whatever. Um, you can have those files synced between uh, users automatically. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Uh, so the tech stack right now, um, most of the identities are Ethereum smart contracts. Um, looking into other options for that, um, we're not sure if we're going to switch that out. It really depends on um, the near future with Ethereum and how quick it's going to be. Um, and uh, with that, all the firm requests and stuff are also um, sent through those smart contracts. Um, right now, you just send an Ethereum address and it looks up on a registry to see if that user exists. Um, we're also going to have um, the traditional username, pound, some number identifier um, in a registry to look up addresses in a cleaner way. Um, yeah, super excited about um, IPFS to see where it goes. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this brings a attainable, um, I guess, interface to the decentralized web to a lot of people. Um, I think privacy is super important. And I think people are finally starting to care, especially with the, uh, the recent WhatsApp stuff and um, just our current, uh, current world. Um, and hopefully uh, we hope to make that easy for people and uh, do it in a way that is directly useful them day to day. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. I guess I can, you know, if there's any questions or whatever, um, I could take those or yeah.